Greetings and salutations, everybody. Name's Dark Cadix One here, bringing you back the second part of the Pacific Rim Jaeger video. This time, it's just going to be tacit Ronin here because we're going to be discussing the final two parts that are important to remember whenever you try building your own versions of these. And first is joint construction. Now, as you'll notice, as was mentioned last time, each joint allows it to mimic that of a standard ball joint, but with limitations. Now, you may be wondering how I'm able to build these joints, because as you can see, they've got no different pins than the ones in standard Crazy Goop Halls. Well, let me go in depth on that for you. As you can see, you've got the Crazy Goop pin, which is green and largely has a flat side. But underneath that, you've got a paper clip, specifically a chopped paper clip. Now, using these paper clip chopped bits, you can essentially give an extra degree of range to the pin and allow for these arm sockets to be built without limiting articulation. Because without it, it would be a lot blockier and it would hamper one side, leaving one side loose, allowing the arm to break free away easily. And without this threat in place, Jaegers like Tassaronin can effectively move their arm however they wish without having any significant hamperance. As for their shoulder and, by extension, their thigh joints over here, these are a different matter. Rather than being attached to a pin, the chopped bit of the paperclip is instead inserted into three wafers of cardboard, specifically the cardboard used in boxes found on Little Bites boxes or Chewy boxes. This effectively allows the pin to be encased in three layers of armor that keep it from breaking out and completely obliterating the figure. And three, and only three are needed because it, because any further, while you can do that, I'm not gonna stop you. It gets a bit more cluttered and maintenance heavy, which is another part we'll cover in just a second. As for the heads, the pins for the heads and by extension the neck joints are on the inside of the torso. When you build your own, you don't have to follow my lead, but I do this because it allows for a more, for a more stable neck. As with the pin on the outside, it can get easy. It's easier to damage the head. But hey, I found how it works, and this is how it'll probably be standard. You you can feel free to do your own thing. On for the last joint, we're gonna look at the ankle joints that we have up here. Now, as you can see, this is two pins stacked together. Now, with these two pins stacked together, this allows the ankle to go out and back as you just saw me move, but also from side to side, like so. This allows the figure to have greater posability when standing stationary, even if they are top heavy. Now, as was stated, this is basically two pins stacked together with one pointing straight out and the other one pointed either inward or outward, depending on which, whether you're building the left or the right. Now, how else does this get secure? Because as you can imagine, it wouldn't exactly be the most secure joint. Well, this is done by taking a piece of cardboard, a bendy cardboard they can find in either toy boxes or just anywhere else, and you pin it through one of the pins, and then you wrap it around. And after you've wrapped it full, one, full 360, you break off the end and you glue them both down all over the pin. And this effectively puts a tension lock on the pin and keeps it in, them from breaking and by extension, ruining the figure. Now then, on to the last subject of the video, or of this two-parter, maintenance. As you can see, there are a lot of etched marks into Tacit Ronin's frame. Now, this may, some are from construction, but others are from maintenance, as these figures tend to be maintenance heavy, especially as was mentioned, most of them are top heavy. So whenever you build your own, you must be very, you must remind yourself frequently to do maintenance. Because while they may last for many days, they can always become weaker over time. And so you've always got to give them that extra delicate care. Which may be hard considering not everybody has the same schedule. But, with that being said, that just about sums up all you need to know when building your own figures in future. This has been Dark Hades 1 and Tacit Ronan here, signing out. See y'all later.